Um, it's never crossed my mind. Uh, and I, I don't really know, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's probably like a really good poetic answer if I sat down and thought about it. But last, uh, last opponent in WWE versus last opponent wrestling ever is, a, is two different questions. So um, I'm sorry, I can't really give you a, a solid answer. You know, uh, I, I would I would love to endorse somebody that probably needs it, but I don't really know who that person is right now. You know. <laughs> That's the bad news. <laughs> they have to be for this big scene on Wayfair and Portland. Thanks a lot. I don't know. Hey. So, um, what do you have to say to those people who watch you and watch everyone else wrestle and say, what do you say to those people who are like, I want to try that. I want to go to these schools all over across the country and I want to try and become, you know, just as big as you. I, uh, it's the same thing I'd say to anybody. If you want to be the president, be the president. If you want to be an astronaut, be an astronaut. You know, if you want to be a pro wrestler, be a pro wrestler. I, there's way too many people that will tell you you can't do something, and I think that's a great reason to go do it. You know, uh, but but don't do it for them. Do it for yourself. You know, whatever, whatever you want to do, you know, just go do it. Thank you. No problem. My question is, in addition to the Ultimate Warrior, who would you want to be in the Hall of Fame? Oh, well, Savage is obviously a great answer. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
follow some of your favorite bands on the road for a while? I know it'd be like the tour lifestyle all over again, but no, I don't. I don't think that would be far fetched. That's something I've always wanted to do is drive cross country anyway. So you never know what's going to happen. You know, like I, at one end of the country, like just go into a dealership, buy a car, and then just drive it across country, and then just drive it. Switch every five. These are the things I'm going to do with my money when I have no time. <laughs> it's going to be fun. But yeah, you might you might see me do that. But I would do it for re re one. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. My uh, question. I have one question. Is in two parts. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, um, don't, you don't get two guns. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, my first part is: What would you? What's your comment on the possibility of Hiroshi Tanahashi coming into the WWE? And second, what would be your comment on what a match between you and him would be like? Um, I haven't heard that rumor, uh, so I don't know. It's not a rumor, but it's just... <laughs> oh, you're just saying what would happen? It's just speculation, yeah. I mean, that'd be cool. I haven't watched any wrestling, Japanese or otherwise, in quite some time. So I, I, I know Tanah everyone loves Tanahashi, and everyone says he's, he's a super great Justin Real guy, but I, I, I don't know what he does. You know, he's pretty and he has nice hair. That's, really, <laughs> that's the extent of my knowledge. Um, but, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sure... We speak the language of pro wrestling. We'll be able to have some fun with it. Thank you very much. No problem. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Grab a donut. <laughs> <laughs> um, I first want to just, want, just wanted to say that uh, you've been a huge inspiration for me in terms of being a straight edge person. Uh, for the longest time, I used to think I was the only one out there, and then uh, you came along and. Things have changed, so it's, a, it's right. awesome. Um, with that being said, um, if by some unlikely chance that you lose the Royal Rumble, how would you feel about facing uh, Hogan and Cena and tag team with uh, Roddy Roddy Piper at WrestleMania? <laughs> wow. Um, Piper texted me that idea like a while ago. <laughs> and, I, and, and just the fact that Roddy Piper texts me is like a, like a small victory for me. <laughs> and he pitched that idea to me and he was like, what do you think, champ? And I was like, I, I think, you know, I think eight-year-old means just shit his pants. <laughs> like, I swear. <laughs> I think that would be, I think that would be super awesome, you know what I mean? Um, I, I don't get excited about much lately, that's probably something I would get excited about, it would be very, very cool. Thank you, um, thank you so much. Grab a donut. How are you doing? Donuts, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? A decent amount. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll have to go next. First off, just wanted to say, um, so out of all my buddies, we're all CM Punk fans, and, uh, I'm the smallest out of all of us, and they used to get beaten up on a lot by him. But uh, once I hit college, I started Wait, getting... Your buddies would beat you up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they are my so not, you know, beat me up, but... Your friends, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> friends, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. there's some crappy friends out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I started doing jiu-jitsu, and, um, and then all my buddies were like, oh, jiu-jitsu is stupid. But, but then one night on Raw, you came out, Turned around with the crazy jujitsu hoodie on, and I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> That was a victory. Right there, so right thank you very much. No, no, no. Um, I wanted to ask you a question. <laughs> Sorry, it's not um, Starting from the early days when you first started wrestling to where you are now, what do you believe is the main reason you achieved this level of success, and how does it feel? Uh, the main reason I achieved this level of, of success is because I knew I could. I believe in myself, um, and it, I don't know, some, some days it feels pretty cool, some days it's uh, overwhelming, and some days I'm sick of it, you know, that's, that's the, the life I lead, but uh, I mean, overall, you know, uh, it always leads to cool experiences, so I met Elvira the other day, <laughs> <laughs> pretty awesome, you know what I mean, so that's, that's pretty cool. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. No problem, I'm going? Yes, I really do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I was wondering, what inspired you to um, really want to be a pro wrestler? And also, I overheard in nice. one of your yeah. interviews that you carry comic books. And I wanted to know, what is your favorite comic book? 
Uh, well, I mean, wrestling papers, the, the, the whole awesome. reason I wanted to become a pro wrestler. Uh, and as far as books go, I think what's in my bag? Um, I think right now I have because uh, I just read trade paperbacks. I can't do single issue stuff. It, they don't travel well. Um, in my bag, I think is uh, some of the latest Valiant stuff. I, I but what I just started reading is the the new Powers Bureau uh, trade paperback for the Brian Michael Bendis stuff. Big fan of Powers. If you don't know about it, go check it out. I have one. But my, as far as my favorite comic book of all time, Preacher. You done. And now Preacher sales. <laughs> hey, you'd be surprised. I, I, a lot of times I'll, I'll pitch stuff on Twitter, and then uh, some of the creators will thank me. You know, and it's pretty, it's pretty neat. Hi, Punk. How you doing? I'm good. You? Oh, pretty good. It's not uh, often you get to meet your hero. Oh, I assume you me. <laughs> well, anyway, my question is, my favorite match appearance of all time is when you fought John Cena at Money in the Bank 2011. I yeah. love that match. I never get sick of watching it. My question is, what's your favorite match that you've wrestled in? Mm, yeah, it's too hard. It's too hard to tell. I don't... I don't know. And I'm at this weird stage in my career where I don't even know, I don't even think I know it's good anymore. You know what I mean? Everybody's always talking about, like, oh, match of the year, and this was so good. And somebody will rave about a match, and uh, I'll be like, I saw that, but it sucked. I don't know. What, you know? <laughs> and somebody will be like, oh, that match you had was so good. And I'll be like, I was in that. It was <laughs> So, you know, um, my favorite match of all time that I've been in, I don't know, it's too hard to tell. I mean, that one's probably up there. Um, for some reason, me and John have this weird chemistry. Uh, I, I, I like wrestling him. He's probably a close second to Ray. I've had a lot of fun matches with Ray. I mean, wrestling The Undertaker at WrestleMania was pretty sweet. Um, the Brock Lesnar, uh, I, what I affectionately refer to as a, a car wreck. <laughs> yes. wow. That's exactly the, the idea behind that was just a car wreck. Just go at each other at 100 miles an hour and see what happens. You know, uh, that one was uh, that one was fun, just because it was it was different and it was something I could get into. It was pretty intense. Thank you. No problem, man. If you would like a donut. Oh, in the horn stone goes he walking. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would be your dream Survivor Series team? My dream Survivor Series team? Ah, uh, it'd, it'd be too <laughs> weird and obscure. I'd get like. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know. I'd have to really think of like how strange I could get. But like Rip Rogers would be on it for sure. Um, I don't I don't know. Uh, I mean, if we're talking just like you know like I could break it down to like a bunch of different categories. I don't know. Uh, the Ultimate Warrior would be on there. Savage would be on there. Probably just all my favorites. Piper, I would be on there just. For selfish reasons. <laughs> you throw you on there too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How does it feel to be? How does it feel for your enemy Chris Jericho to be? How does it feel for your enemy Chris Jericho? It's, it's sad. It's <laughs> very, it's a very sad moment with Chris Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> I defeated him and now he just writes books and sings songs. <laughs> Would you like a donut? That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> One minute for you. Okay, so from the Talking Dead, you're the champion of the Walking Dead video game, and you talked about if you could maybe be on the show. So, what would either would you do that? And if or is there something like that that if they you know if they called you up, you would take off the bus and you would go do that no matter what? No, oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I'm just a huge. I, I've always been a huge horror movie fan, and I've uh, you know been a zombie freak for quite some time. So it's, it's cool that it's super popular right now and everything zombies, because I, you know, I, I enjoy it. I'm not one of those people who's gonna get mad because everybody likes zombies all of a sudden. I, I think it's great, because it's, it's given us 
you know, zombie comic books, and now we have uh, Walking Dead, and you know, uh, I did Talking Dead, and that was fun. You know, I don't know if they if they offered something. Yeah, I would, I would jump at that. Um, uh, there's a couple of things that I'm doing in the the near future that you know I can't really mention yet, but I'm sure if you guys think about it, you can probably figure it out. But you know, I'll be doing it again shortly. It'll be fun. It's good. You're not a zombie hipster. That's always good, you know. What's a zombie hipster? Like, you liked them before they were cool, but now they're cool, so you can't like them. Oh, no. Yeah. I love zombies. It's great. <laughs> I, wish, I wish it would really happen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Oh, I go to challenge you. Yes! <laughs> the great thing, the great thing about challenges. She was the challenges girl at season me too. Okay. Try to stand up. What's up? <laughs> Let's stand up. That's my stand best up. friend, and I wasn't really only getting the donut for her. Right on. Even though you, I wanted to turn you off for one. Well, yeah, you just blew it. Oh, that was you. All right, you can grab it though. <laughs> yeah, the great thing, if you're ever in Chicago, go check out Challengers comic books. They're on Western, and uh, yeah, they're great. They're great to me, too, because um, sometimes if I don't have enough time uh, to get in, they will, they will deliver the comics to my front door. Oh. That, that is a comic store. That is awesome. I just want to know, uh, would you ever want to see Sting in the WWE, and would you want to fight, uh, wrestle Sting? Um, God, you, you know, that that's... Yes and no, you know, it's going to sound harsh, but like, I don't know what he's got left in the tank, you know, you know what I mean? And, and everybody seems to talk about like, Sting Taker would be this, this awesome match, and like, I mean, who knows, you know, you know it, it might be. It'd be a cool way for him to go out, you know, uh, but I, Sting, I, I, was never, I wasn't really like an NWA guy, so I, I, don't, I don't have these... Uh, thoughts of wrestling uh, sting or anything like that, but yeah, I, I, I would give it a go. It'd probably be fun. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. I'm short. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, it's, it's okay. You're short. <laughs> 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 um, I'm kind of new to wrestling. I'm a newbie, and I'm starting to get into it. And earlier today, see, it was revealed to you that. I, when I think of you, I think of stars and mutton chops, and I'm told that's the first time you've heard that. I'm just curious, what's your favorite fan nickname story? So My favorite fan nickname? Yeah. I heard something about a badger one time. Uh, uh, people, people swear at me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's always my favorite. Yeah. Like, there was a guy, there, there was a group of people at the airport today. Um, and they were there with their big binders, and they wanted pictures and autographs. And I was like, yeah, uh, come to Wizard World. And I thought that was weird. And then they got very angry. And the one started swearing at me. And I was just like, this is, this is pretty cool. Yeah, like, all right, well, whatever. Like, uh, I don't know, that's always, that's always weird to me when fans get so upset that they, they swear at me and stuff. I want to do something nice for them, but then they still swear at them. <laughs> it's very weird. You can have a donut. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Do you, you have a twin brother? So, did you ever go? Uh, did you ever wrestle in other wrestling programs and stuff like? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> other places? Oh yeah, I wrestled. I wrestled everywhere. Literally everywhere. Uh, yeah, I started off on the Indies and I would just wrestle for whoever uh, would pay me, sometimes in food or gas money. And uh, yeah, I didn't start wrestling for the WWE until like 2005. So I've been around. I've been around. Did you get a donut last time? No. Do you want one now? No? You don't want a donut? Oh, <laughs> oh, I was going to say. Sorry, man. <laughs> brother and the donut. <laughs> so I'm gonna act like no one stole my question. Um, are you gonna get any other like big tattoos? Like, do you have the huge uh, skull dragon chest piece? Just kind of curious. It's a snake. It's 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, tattoos really hurt. And I, don't know, like, I don't know why I ever get them. And I, I, I normally get like oddly peer pressured into it, and then next thing you know, well, I have them. No, I mean they all are. But you know, I, every time I start to get a new one, I, I ask myself why I'm doing this, and then I swear I'm never getting another one. So, you know, I mean, you know, no, no super plans for a big back piece. But, that being said, I'll probably have one by maybe. Thank you. No problem. Take a donut. We gotta get we gotta get rid of these, right? Yeah, get rid of these donuts. Um, what are what are your thoughts about the tea start coming back to WWE? Uh, mixed bag. Um, uh, I'll always I'll always be honest to a fault. Uh, Dave's a friend of mine, so it's cool to see him again. Uh, but it, you know, um, it. it, it to me, uh, there's there's a certain. Uh, let me see if I can remember this correctly. Somebody's gonna get pissed off at this anyway. Um, <laughs> you know, I think this has been Daniel Bryan's year, and I. I, I uh, uh, I've, I've sort of been in the position where I, I thought it was my year, and I watch other people get other opportunities and stuff like that. And no, no slight on Dave. Uh, like I said, he is a friend of mine. I just did. Uh, I, I wish I could see Daniel Bryan main event at WrestleMania. That's all. But, you know. But Dave, I think, is great, and uh, it, it's not like a situation where uh, God, the Rock's probably gonna get mad again. But it's not like uh, it's not like Rock coming in and he's not just doing pay-per-views. He's doing like a full schedule. So we'll see how it happens. We'll see. We'll see how it unfolds. But I think Dave coming back is a good thing. Going, going. Yeah, there you go. Uh, first off, I was in the building when you did the, the pink tights and yellow boots a couple days after Randy passed away. And I just yeah. want to say one of the classiest things I ever what saw. Was it, was it here? Who was here? Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I don't remember any of <laughs> uh, My question was, I really enjoyed the, the quick little stint when you were on the desk uh, for Raw. I think it was just a few weeks. but yeah. um, do you see yourself doing that after after it's all done, kind of like Randy and, and Roddy both did? No, I, no. no I, I, when I'm done, I'm done. I'm just gonna buy a cabin in some remote mountainous area, and no one's ever gonna see me again. And it's gonna be awesome. Thank you. No problem, man. If you want to go and take it. The concept that I decided to live above, not feel the pressure to do the dream. As only I used to do, so I'm kind of born again, trade it. Thank you for that. No worries. Uh, with seeing guys like Jake the Snake Roberts, Goldust coming back, uh, even Chris Jericho, um, all the stuff I'm seeing through DDP Yoga, I just wondering what are your thoughts on DDP Yoga? I've never done it. Um, apparently, everybody who does it loves it. Uh, but I, I have done yoga, just not DDP Yoga. <laughs> I'm sure you know, I've had this discussion with DDP where I. Because I made fun of Jericho for doing it. Because uh, it's not real yoga, it's like DDP's own thing. You know? it's not, it's and, not your mama's yoga. Yeah, whatever that means. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if my mom does yoga. <laughs> <laughs> grab, a, grab a donut, we gotta get rid of it. Hi, I was a little nervous earlier. Tell me. Um, Tell me. Yeah, this, none, none of you, none of you nervous. be nervous. Yeah. Just, a, just a kid. It's okay. I, 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 oh. I, I, I can see you all now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should always come out to live music. If you're in Portland, is there any way you can talk in living color? Maybe WrestleMania, do Cult of Personality live. Again? To come out. Yeah. In New Orleans. I, don't, I, don't, I think you should always do it. You know? I mean, I, if they could follow it around. You know? I don't, you know, I don't, I don't. Know. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. But uh, the, uh, basically, I wanted to know um, I haven't seen you do any acting. And maybe it's a good thing about that. I do it every Monday, man. Yeah. I like I want to do it. But if now that there's a project like Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt has uh, the rights to the Sandman series, oh, does he? Would, yeah, would you think about maybe? You know, guys, I, guys, if anybody offered me any kind of a comic book role, of course I would do it. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> I, I would be like, mm, no, I don't know, what's a pay? Uh, no, stuff like that would be super fun, um, especially if it was something you know 
if, if the material was something that good, you know what I mean? That that would be super great. Yeah, I know they've been working on a preacher one for years, but that's hard to translate to a film. I, no, yeah, I, I it could be done. Thing. It could be done. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No problem. Got it done. It's good to these things. Hello again. Um, I have a question. Um, I've only been watching these for about two and a half years. I've watched. I've been on the net watching your ROH and TNA and. Um, still <laughs> <laughs> oh, but and you've done great stuff in Ring of Honor. But what was your least favorite thing in Ring of Honor that you did? My least favorite thing? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I was proud of most of that stuff. Uh, if somebody shot something out that I did that was really bad, then I don't know. It was all awesome. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I mean, some of the early stuff probably when uh, I wasn't, uh, like I didn't have my, my footing and I wasn't uh, really sure, I was like kind of directionless. I think I really uh, obviously took it to the next level once I started feuding with Raven. So like stuff before that was kind of spotty, you know. That's, but I, I don't, I also don't hate it, you know what I mean? Like, about learning at that point in my career. Thank you. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, mine's actually a two-part question. First one, Jake the Snake said that Dean Ambrose was smiling at the end of Old School Raw because the snake was relieving itself on him. Is that true or false? I don't think the snake shit on Dean. <laughs> It was it was it was shedding all over Dean, so I think maybe that's why. Uh, I think Dean was smiling because I was making poop jokes because I pooped out Dean. <laughs> I was packed on a bus recently. That's right. Second part: How was it to be in the ring with Jake the Snake? That was cool. You know, it was, I, I think it was a. It's it's hard in this day and age to keep anything a secret. Um, and keep anything off the, the internet, and I don't think that leaked. So that, that was, was a total surprise. Yeah, it was cool. It was super cool. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Grab a donut. All right. So first of all, ah, Rio. It's me, not the me. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Savage for Hall of Fame 2014. <laughs> Um, but second of all, with your mutton chops, I picture you as a better Wolverine than Hugh Jackman. He's ripped. Well, he's, I mean, he's tall as hell. He's tall. But my I'm kind of tall, too. Is, let's say Marvel or DC came up to you and said, we're going to make a comic book movie starring you. Who would you pick as your role? God. I don't know. That's, that's a hard one to... Hugh Jackman. That's a, <laughs> I'd be Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a hard one to pick. Um, I mean, I have my favorites and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, it's always interesting what the people who own the property or, like, the directors or the writers see for who they want characters to be and stuff like that. So, you know, I don't know. I, I, I always have a soft spot in my heart for The Punisher just because I love the character, you know. Maybe you could make a better movie. I, well, I, I think anybody at this point can make a I still don't understand how they keep missing the boat on that. It's like the most simple thing. You know, they always, they always ruin it. They always ruin it. You know, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know if you just go based on who I look like or something like that, or if you Hollywood make it put up. But I, I really, I really just want myself out and play anybody <laughs> at this point. Awesome, thanks, man. No problem. Grab a donut, Mario. CM Punk. I yes, start Chicago myself. Lovely. Uh, right. I'm Northwest Side. Okay, great. Uh, Twenty minutes where Red with uh, Red League Field. Man. Sweet. Um, pizza place. Where would you go to eat for a pizza in Chicago? Uh, probably nowhere because I would just have it delivered. <laughs> See, that depends if you want thin crust or deep dish or pan. You know, deep dish. Deep dish. Yeah, deep Chicago, dish. come on. Deep Chicago deep dish. Deep dish. I, I am partial to either Giordano's or Pequod's. Thank you. Pequod's. Thank you. Pequod's is obviously right. more of a mom and pop kind of thing. Yeah. Thing, but, you know, they, they all have their advantages. But uh, Giordano's is actually better. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah, sure. Definitely. You don't have, don't have, I don't yeah, have pizza to give you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
a little, just, just in case it stopped working. So. <laughs> right on. Um, hello, sir. Good hello. answer. Uh, yeah. Yes. Um, Good answer. You're like my hero, by the way. But, um, yeah, sure. I, 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 you know. <laughs> It's a cinnamon um, donut? So maybe you can help me with that question because I'm not really used to this whole microphone Congratulations. thing. Congratulations. Um, but um, I Did realized you that um, you, on your knuckles, you have the uh, the drug the drug free. Uh, yeah. God, this is loud. Um, so, um, I wonder, um, so I was wondering about that, and I was actually wondering if, um, now, do they, do you know, do, you, do they censor that on, like, the, on television? The they don't censor on television. Uh, if I'm on, like, a DVD cover and you can see the word drug on my knuckles, they, like, airbrush it off. Oh, I see. So it's, on, it's just on the DVD, but it's not on television? No. Oh, okay. No. They, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. People always get offended, but I don't care. That's okay. I, was, I, was just, I was just kind of curious about that. Um, yeah, it's a little weird. Um, What's your oh, uh, so um, what, what's your favorite horror movie? Halloween. Oh, nice. You have done.
So, long time fan, um, came in 91, was on the first match. Um, where would you like to see the business or the sports go since now it's in the PG area? I understand the famous quote that it's what's best for business right now. What I would love to see is seeing a punk in more of the attitude or aggression style. But where would you love to see the sport go in the future? Uh, I, 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 I obviously have a lot of opinions, in this, but it's not my company. I, I would like to see uh, it go back to being uh, less less writers and more of a, a booker, you know, you know with long-term plans and, and ideas. And, or you know, build your own character instead of somebody. You know, they're not necessarily that, just an idea of where you're going instead of, you know, every week it's like, what are we doing? And oh, they're not, they don't remember that. That was two weeks ago and just dropping stuff at the, you know, the, the, the slightest notion that it's not working or, you know, having real, no real plan of what you're doing, you know? Like instead of, they're worrying about WrestleMania now, right? right? If it was my company, I would have that all settled and I'd be worrying about WrestleMania if they won, you know? Uh, but there's just, you know, there's just I, the long-term uh, booking and planning. It, it hasn't existed in quite some time. Right. That's what I'm so thanks. No problem. If there's any donuts left, just go grab them. There's 10 left. Greetings. Hello, greetings. I manage locally, and I actually worked with your friend Cole a couple times when he was in town cool. about a year ago. He sucks, right? <laughs> <laughs> Although, there's nothing to it. So anyways, as a manager, uh, how would you suggest getting noticed as a manager by WWE since a little less traditional? Everything's different now, you know? Uh, I, I would say if they're, if they're gonna hire somebody who's just a manager, you have to be pretty spectacular. Um, but just, you know, that doesn't mean it's impossible. I would just say keep keep doing it, but look at what everybody else is doing and don't be that, you know what I mean? Like just try to invent something new and just be different and be entertaining. Do you think it'd be fortuitous to get a portfolio of like two or three things I've done and send it to them? Or? It can't hurt, yeah. you know what I mean? It can never hurt. Cool. Give it a shot. Don't it worth it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the funniest thing a fan said? Oh, I, I wouldn't even be able to think of that right now. The funniest thing a fan said to me today, and obviously they might be in here, was, uh, hey, we're the Royal Rumble, but if you don't do that, GTS Heath Slater. Obviously, this one thing would be really good, but if that doesn't happen, you can just go and do this. Heath uh, Slater was a very random choice. But that was the funniest thing a fan has said to me today. <laughs> Who would you say your greater rival is? The Shield or the New Age Outlaws because they walked out on you? Um, I, I don't think either of them are uh, worthy of being called a great rival at the moment. You know what I mean? Like, John Cena is a great rival of mine. Uh, but in between the two, I'd probably say the Shield. Uh, personally, I always Do you just hate Heath Slater or what's with Heath Slater? <laughs> Rumble, that's one random thing that for my birthday might actually happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first, I always thought Billy Regal was one of the few superstars who really deserved the world title. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but anyone from the time, deserved it. What do you say? Say that one more time. Anyone again. off your head that you, know, you always thought deserved it and never got a chance. You said something. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of guys, you know. But what's your definition of, you know, get a chance, you know what I mean? Well, I actually had the chance to, you know, get, you know, have the title because they were good enough, they should have done it, they just, for some reason. Well, he'll be the first one to tell you that he screwed it up for himself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, uh, um, I, you know, as far as guys getting chances, you know, like, uh, the, the funny thing is, is like being an indie wrestler used to be looked, it used to be so frowned upon, and I never understood that because they were, they, that's where, that's where the work was. It's not like I could just bounce around and, you know, go, there, there, were no, there were no territories. And what the Indies are, or were, are, were really just small nice. territories. That's, that, that's the, the, the business funneled down into that. But I, I mean, me, me and Brian, Dan, uh, Daniel Bryan would always get uh, He always texts back. And, you know, you still hear it, like, oh, but yeah, maybe. Indie guy, but like, uh, half the roster is Indie guys now. 
you know what I mean? And like I feel like in a lot of ways I was the first guy through the wall and I got bloodied up, you know, but I I paved the way and I'm not saying I'm responsible for anybody's success. I just think uh, they look at it differently now, you know what I mean? And I'm not looking for a pat on the back. I just, you know, I, because I know the, all these guys have given an opportunity to knock it out of the park, like Cesaro, like Dragon, you know, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins. Uh, I just wish guys, like a guy like Samoa Joe could get a shot, you know, in the WWE because they, they're, they're, he's world travel, you know, and you can't, you, there's no substitute for uh, experience. So it's, it's situations like that, I wish guys got a shake. I wish Cabana could, could get a fair shake on, uh, on TV. Hi, uh, back in the uh, mid-1990s, uh, WWF was losing the stars to WCW. Uh, my uh, interest in wrestling started to pick up as, uh, on the uh, regional sport networks that uh, ECW was uh, coming more widely available. Uh, what was your take on ECW? I, I mean, I really enjoyed a lot of the uh, concept, the edginess, which I, oh, I loved it because it was WWF different. Kind of and, and I think that that's here. that's what it boils down to. I think a lot of the times fans just want something I different. Know. You know what I mean? Uh, Daniel Bryan is awesome, okay. but I think one of the biggest things he has going for him uh, is he was different. Three years ago, I was different. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, everyone was like, whoa, him in a title picture, that would be cool because it was different. Now, they want Daniel Bryan in the title picture because it's different. You know, uh, ECW at that time was something, you know, completely different. And uh, for a lot of people, they didn't see stuff like that. And it was just an alternative. And it's, it's just a lot better. It's like going to a restaurant. If you just go to a restaurant, there's one thing on the menu that sucks. You go to a restaurant, there's, a, you know, a bunch of stuff on the menu, you get to choose what you think is best at that time. And it's just always, it's always a better situation for everybody if there's alternatives and different things to, to watch. Uh, I love ECW, I still do. I think, it, uh, I, I think it helped generate what everybody loves calling the Attitude Era and this big boom in pro wrestling, you know. Uh, if it wasn't for ECW, I don't think it would have been as big as it was. One thing I really missed uh, from that was I don't really see it enough of, like in WWE today, is that uh, I think their first pay-per-view, they spent the better part of a year building this rivalry between Sato and Taz. Long for them book it. <laughs> wow, that, what an idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it actually takes something to build it up and not hot shot it and do it three months in a row, right? I would love to see Paul Hayden in the Hall of Fame someday. Oh, he will be. Yeah, he'll be in the Hall of Fame for sure someday. You never know, maybe I'll induct him. That'd be fun. I'll see you. As much as I don't want to. Can we wait until it gets Hello. to the three minute mark? Because then it yeah. stops. Wow. Yeah. 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 Northwest. <laughs> What's that? They're riveted on your every word. Oh, God. So I was wondering who writes the storylines and how much contribution new performers have in directing the storylines. There's a whole bunch of people that write stuff. Final say goes to uh, Vince, and very few people have uh, the ability to talk him out of things or change his mind. So you know, that's, that's the way it goes. Um, they run stuff by me, whether to see if like, I, I want to do it or not, um, based off of if I'm wrestling somebody who I think is going to hurt me terribly and I don't want to do it, <laughs> stuff like that. Like that. It's, you know, there's, there's a whole team of writers. There's a bunch that stay at the towers and there's a bunch that travel and they, you know, like every day, everybody is contributing. So, um, you know, uh, I mean, guys like me and Cena get to contribute, but it's not like I'm sitting in a room, you know, throwing ideas at a wall or anything like that, they bring stuff to me and I just, you know, a lot of the times later I just, I just go do it. I hate arguing now. I've grown soft. You're welcome. Grab a donut. So as somebody who trains hard every day, I know how much injury you can put your body through and still perform. I just want to thank you and I know I'm not the only one that appreciates how much you love the sport, how much you sacrifice yourself for it, and do it day in and day out, and compete as much as you do. And we all appreciate it, especially the high level you always give every time. Um, the question I have concerning that is, I know 
you diet. You're a very healthy dietitian. You don't you don't eat meat. Well, that too. I don't. I just need the donut man. I haven't eaten one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I apologize to everybody here, but it's kind of a selfish question. You know, I'm always looking to be better myself, and I don't eat much meat, very, very rarely, mainly all my proteins from dairy. I mean, how have you felt your diets helped you perform and recover? I just ate a chicken burrito. <laughs> Somebody tweet that. Uh, I get that all the time. Tweet something and some people go, I thought you were a vegan. And I'm just like, block. <laughs> my, uh, my diet changes all the time just based on like, What's just, no, just pure boredom, you know? I mean? <laughs> and um, I think uh, like October, November, December, and for three months I was pretty sick. Yeah, it's going to stop in 30 and seconds. After a while, uh, I was just like, Maybe I'm just going to start eating meat and see if that does anything. And uh, I don't know if that was the sole kind of contributor of uh, me feeling better, but I kind of finally feel like myself again. Um, so I'm, just, I'm eating meat. I just don't go overboard with it. You know, there's still lots of awesome vegetarian options. <laughs>